On any given night, there are nearly 4,000 homeless Austinites living in the streets of Austin, in shelters, and in places not suitable for living, like cars, according to AustinEcho.org. As we are all Austin residents, being St. Edward's students, it is easy for us to become immune to the homeless people on the streets around us. But do you ever stop to think, what if that was you begging for food and shelter? My name is Sarah Bodie, and I've been working with Street Youth Ministry since August 2013. We work to provide a helping hand and try to get the homeless and street dependent people to a better place. Uh, today I'm going to go over how rewarding it is for not only the people you work with, but also for yourself and how it can fit into nearly any schedule. And we will cover who Street Youth Ministry is, uh, the various volunteer opportunities available for St. Edward's students, and the advantages of working with our organization. So before we start, I'm gonna start with our history. Uh, we were founded in 2008 by the Covenant Presbyterian Church. A young man named Terry Cole um, was found it to be his calling to work full-time in ministry and help these people on the streets of Austin. And um, so according to our website, we target most of the people along the streets um, right on Guadalupe. Uh, mainly between 21st and 26th Street is where most um, of these people do seem to find their homes. And um, we aim to work with clients that are anywhere between the ages of 17 to 23, though we do not turn down any other clients. Uh, we like to work with people that are relatable as we have many college volunteers. So therefore we make uh, the experience almost uh, very realistic and awakening for the people that work with us. Our mission statement is to work with the street youth, offering and providing essentials such as clothing and food, and trying to get them to a better place. But not only do we provide them with food and um, clothing, but we also offer them time to talk and we get to know them. And our main focus is to create a relationship with the people that we come in contact with. Another special thing that we do is before we part with everyone that we meet, we ask if they have any prayer requests. And we do not push any uh, religious <coughs> opinions on any of the people that we meet, but we do like to leave the option open to have them in our thoughts and prayers for the week. Now, volunteering for college students isn't always as easy as it sounds because if you go off campus, sometimes you have to um, do it more than once, or on campus you have to join a club. For St. Edwards, which you can find on our website, we have three main volunteer days. <coughs> we have the big event, which actually just happened, it's in April, and we usually have over 200 volunteers. Uh, there's also the Founders Day Service Project in October, and the MLK March, which is held in January, and you volunteer for the MLK Day of Service. Uh, there's also, as I said, various other volunteer opportunities through the clubs and organizations that you may be involved in. Uh, but Street Youth Ministry is a little different as it offers a very uh, real world insight to something that's right next to you and you don't even realize. We have very easy and flexible hours, as you can see on your handout, uh, for you to volunteer. There is the mini mission trip, which is every Friday from 3 to 6. And there you go down the drag and you ask if anyone needs food or clothing and you just sit down and talk with them and see if they, how their week <coughs> has been and if they need anything. Uh, we also have the opportunity to volunteer or donate for the clothing closet which is held every Thursday from 2 to 4. And we have the opportunity all week basically to organize or work with the food assembly uh, and prepare it for handing out to the people that we see. Um, Monday and Tuesday, you have to do that by 11 a.m. And then Thursday and Friday, you do that by 4 p.m. We also have a service wash day, which is held once a month, <coughs> either the third Saturday or Sunday every month. So why choose Street Youth Ministry? See, you're helping people your age, which is not that common. Sometimes you help older people by fixing up their homes, but um, we like to focus with targeting people in a young age for college students that volunteer. So according to AustinEcho.org, 900 of those 4,000 people found on the street every night are under the age of 25. And that's a staggering number for such a young age. So a lot of these people 
uh, are even trying to go to school just like us, which is even more shocking when you talk to them because you see them struggling to even find food for the day while we take it so much for granted here at St. Edwards. And it's very unexpectedly rewarding to work with them. You are, you open your eyes to many things. For example, uh, one of my first trips that I did with them on a mini mission trip, I met a girl named Amanda <coughs> and I sat down and talked with her and turns out she's from the small town that I grew up with and she grew up with my neighbors and we both ended up in Austin yet we're living two completely lives right now. So it was very eye-opening for me to see that um, sometimes I do take things for granted and I believe it can be very eye-opening for um, many people who volunteer, especially St. Edward's students as we kind of live in our own little world on this hill. And so um, in conclusion, we went over, we talked about how Street Youth Ministry, what their purpose was and how they got started to just provide a helping hand to any of those around. Um, we've talked about the various volunteer options available for St. Edward's students and how awakening and rewarding it can be to work with our organization. So for our vision, we believe that with your help, uh, we can someday see all the people on the streets, not as strangers, but as friends, and hopefully get that number 4,000 down to zero for Austin, Texas. And if you are interested in volunteering, the sign up is on your handout and you can also visit our website. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions?